Okay, truth seekers, I want to come to you today and talk about Peter and the keys of death, hell, and the grave. Brother William Branham taught that the keys of death, hell, and the grave, which Peter had, were given to us, the believers, in Acts 2.38. When Peter said, repent, every one of you, Brother Branham makes a clicking sound as the as are like keys are being turned. In the name of Jesus Christ, the keys are clicking once again. For the remission of your sins, the keys click once again. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. The straight gate is now unlocked for you, allowing you to pass. Straight is spelled like a body of water, not straight like a line. Because the straight gate is the waterway, or the entrance into the kingdom of God's dear Son that the apostles preached. Water baptism is the entrance into the kingdom of God's dear Son, or it is the straight gate or waterway to being born again. And obedience to Acts 2.38 is the keys of death, hell, and the grave which Peter had, allowing you to enter the straight gate, or the ent or to enter the entrance into the kingdom. So now the born-again believer can use the same keys of death, hell, and the grave which Peter had or gave us to help others go free, to help others find their way through the straight gate or waterway, which is the entrance into the kingdom. Unfortunately, Catholic Trinitarians and Greek Orthodox blinded the people to the straight gate or waterway into the kingdom by changing water baptism to the trinity of titles so now the vast majority go through this broad gate or alternative waterway that will prevent you from being born again into the kingdom water baptism in the name of jesus christ is also how Brother William Branham explains that this is how the apostles had the ability to remit or retain sins. A person's sins are only remitted once they are baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. If the apostles found a uh, or thought, if the apostles found or thought an individual was unfit to be baptized, then they then they were not baptized, and that person's sins would be retained. And anyone who they did bat anyone who they did baptize in the name of Jesus Christ then their sins were remitted that is the biblical way that the apostles could remit or retain sins the apostles were not mediators or were not able to forgive sins as the catholic church falsely teaches satan's kingdom of roman catholicism and Greek Orthodox will try and blind and prevent you from taking the keys of death, hell, and the grave, which Peter gave to us, giving you an alternative waterway or broad gate. So only those today who are baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and whose lives follow holiness, only these true saints will be in the first resurrection and be raptured before the tribulation. All the Trinitarians and many others baptized in the Trinity of Titles or who went, who went through the broad gate or alternative waterway will not be in the first resurrection. They will, they will remain in the tribulation period to be slaughtered uh, if they don't join the one world religious system led by the Antichrist Pope. <clears throat> So don't let Satan deceive you. Obey Acts 2.38 and take the keys of death, hell, and the grave, which will allow you to enter the straight gate or waterway, the entrance into the kingdom of God's dear Son. Peter is not standing at the gate in heaven, as Catholics falsely teach, and checking the book of life before allowing someone to enter heaven. That is just a carnal carnal-minded garbage that Catholics teach. So I hope that helps you truth seekers out there. Keep reading your Bibles and pray, and I believe God will give you the answers.